How's it going guys, it's Sam here. Welcome to a new video. Now, if you're watching this video and you are a marketing agency owner or a service provider and your current website doesn't look very good or maybe you don't have a website and perhaps you've thought to yourself, well, probably it's not the most important thing. Like I should spend that time, that energy, that money on uh, outsourcing, on on finding clients, on you know re watching courses, reading books. And although all that stuff is true, if you're trying to sell yourself to clients, you need to look professional and having a professional agency website that not only looks great but also converts leads is critically important now i've taken this uh, website straight from my paid community which by the way there is a free so there's a discount running currently so for the next um few days we're gonna have it at 99 bucks so you can get lifetime access for 99 dollars per month um we do a full money back guarantee so if anything you don't like you can get a full refund um but yeah as a price reduction um for a limited time only i'll leave a link to that down below where you can check it out uh, there's a little video there where you can find out more about how it works and everything like that but for today only i'm going to give you guys this snapshot for free okay which i'm going to show you how to do uh later on in the video so let's get into it so i'm in my go high level account okay and um i basically built this site from scratch um i took like elements of, of things that were important to me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you firstly um what the website looks like and, and kind of walk you through a few elements as to what i think is important now obviously i've um you know run an agency before and that it, that website that i i ran did thousands of leads and generated a lot of sales revenue and you know we could send traffic from google we could send traffic from traffic from facebook ads and it still converted leads just like a normal landing page would so the first element to a great website is to design that website like it's a sales page okay you only really need to put effort into one page on your site and that is the home page that page becomes kind of like a sales page for your agency okay so if you walk through it we've got a few elements here now the first thing is brandability now although this is a sales page it looks professional it looks like a proper website and there's no content here there's no images there's no photos of me it's just a few things which are really important when it comes to a um, kind of above the fold section, which is this section here, this hero section. First thing is a really clear cut call to action. Okay, sorry, really clear headline. Now that headline wants to be really focused around your target audience and what is the unique service or product that you provide. So you said here, look, I put upgrade to verified leads, which is the name of this brand. No more chasing, just closing. And then my sub headline is verified leads, values, quality of quantity, we provide only pre-qualified exclusive and verified leads on a cost per lead basis. Now I've left this blank. So you can put your niche in here and you can adjust this. Now what I like to do with headlines, I like to have one headline, which kind of like, um, is more like uh, promotes curiosity is more ambiguous but speaks to their pain points and the sub headline um quite clearly and evidently explains what they're going to get if they essentially click the call to action button okay so let me have this um call to action which again doesn't say book in your call it says the benefit that you're that's being provided by clicking that button so for example if you're doing if you're a google ads agency let's say you're, let's say you're a web design agency that button might say receive your free website redesign today or it might say receive your free 20 minute um, website in-depth audit today or something like that, which is a clear benefit, right? We're trying to drive inquiries to the site. We've also got this um, um, banner section at the top or header section, whatever you want to call it, which has three pages other than this page. We've got a contact page, which I'll go to now, um, which I've left a inside of the go high level snapshot, which you guys can get access to. I've left this um, like free for you to embed your calendar. I've also got a case studies page, which takes you to um, basically any, testimonials or reviews that you've got from clients again with this blank so you guys can fill this in should you want to if you don't have case studies yet you can always change this to like a how it works page or something like that you can always just remove it and i'll show you how to do that later and i've also got an about page which just gives if they are interested in finding out more about you personally what your business does i put a thing here like where you can put information about you about the business um, and all of that kind of information what i also love to do is I like to have a headline here so you see this i've got this which says customers in august can get 10 free leads okay and if i go on mobile you can see it looks good on mobile as well everything here is mobile optimized okay all the sections are mobile optimized all you have to literally do is copy this into your own go high level platform and you can then start using it straight away so you can come in you can change the color schemes you can change everything which we'll go through in a bit i've then got some case studies underneath again as soon as they find out what it, what it is that you do um, which should be easy, easily explainable in like one sentence, which you can see I've done here. We then got, all they really want to know now is like, okay, but who has it worked for? Okay, so if you, have, if you have case studies, you can then put those here. You can put logos and you can also put testimonial videos. Now, if you don't have case studies, what I'd recommend doing is having like a VSL style video, which is like a essentially a sales video of you explaining what it is that you do, walking cl uh, clients through it, how they can get started, stuff like that. Um, and that would then go here instead of these six videos. I've then got a how it works, three steps to get started. So step one, step two, step three. 
I've got a, another call to action, which I think having regular call to actions is really, really important. And I've added this cool section here, which is like a comparison. So let's say you're in web design and your comparison maybe is like Wix or your comparison is other agencies, right? You want to compare yourself to the other providers on the market and how yours differs and why yours is better. And that's kind of what I've done here. So but like most agencies, verified leads, and you guys can see what I've done with this. I've then got a case studies section, okay, which is I've left this blank for you to, to um, essentially fill in. So you can see here, like basically each one of these takes you to another page. If I go case study two, for example, this takes them to a page dedicated towards um, that particular client. I've designed this in a blog style. So if we go to mobile, it looks good on mobile as it looks good on desktop. Everything is mobile optimized as I explained before. Uh, and if we scroll down, we've got another call to action button at the bottom. Now you do want to add your terms and conditions and privacy policy in here. I haven't done that, but if you need them, you can easily find them just by using chat GPT. It put your website, what you guys do, um, and an information about how you process that data. For example, if you're just for client follow-ups and just put the data is just for following up with clients who make inquiries with us. So you can just um, generate a privacy policy super easily. And then all you need to do is go into your here, um, create a new page, call it privacy policy, create a new page, call it terms and conditions. And then you've got two links at the bottom there. Obviously can't do that for you. Uh, that needs to be your business information, but you can put all of that stuff in there. Okay, what else have we got here, which is important to mention? Now, one thing I haven't included in here, which you could easily do is a chat widget. And if you go to the chat widget section, you go hello with dashboard, you can literally click new, um, do a live chat here. What that's essentially going to do is going to create a chat widget. So let's just go ahead and do that so we can see what that actually looks like. Um, you can then add your logo, you can add your face, um, you can add your name, and you can even use something like closebot.ai, um, which would then you know, essentially automate some of the conversations back and forth, or you can use a tool like the automations built into Go High Level, right? All you've got to do is come to automation flows. All you need to do is create a new workflow, uh, start from scratch, and you can create a trigger. And that trigger would be, so you might say like website chat widget, Okay, and you might go add trigger. You would go, um, you would go. So all you need to do is you need to come down here. You need to do customer replied, uh, customer replied, and you go apply channel chat widget, and you save trigger. Now, and anyone replies to that chat, you can then add automation. So you could add um, like a reply. You could say, hey, how can we help? You could say, hey, would you like to book on a call? Click here, stuff like that, which is awesome. Okay, so if we go back to our site. I'm going to talk you through the ins and outs of the website and uh, like how to essentially use it. So once you built this into your, once you pulled this snapshot into your um, Go High Level account, it's going to come up as, um, it's not going to come up as Verified Leads, it's going to come up as Agency Club, which is my business name. So um, by the way, if you guys do want to get access to this snapshot, you can do it by joining my free school community. So I've got a free group. Um, I'll leave a link to that down below and you, you just get, you know, there's a, there's a free course in there, but you also get this. Um, if you want all the other resources, such as my, um, like full course, which is everything from sales, follow up, um, sorry, sales, um, marketing, uh, paid ads, um, and you know, outreaching and all of that stuff that is also in my paid community, which is, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're doing a discount currently. So you can $99, you get access to all of that. You get access to one-on-one -on -one call with me as well as three weekly Q and A sessions or coaching calls with myself. Um, but if you want just a site, you can get them in the free group, which I'll leave a link to down below. Just navigate to the classroom section inside of that free group, look for a plug and play agency website, and you can get access to the snapshots there. Super, super easy. Anyway, back to the video. So if we go back to the website. Um, once you're in here, you'll see that I have lots of the elements set up as like global sections, essentially. So if you, for example, wanted to change the color scheme of this, um, let's say you wanted to change the uh, this button color. So you could come in here, you could change this to white, uh, or let's say you change it to blue, and then you want to click save. It's going to give you a warning. So this is a global section change. That means it's going to change it across the whole site. So if I go ahead and click save, update that, and then I publish it to the actual site, you'll see what I mean when I say that. It says publish. Okay, let's now go to verified leads. You'll see it's changed here. If I go to the, uh, well, actually, it's only going to be on this page, isn't it? But if we use another example. If I just change that back to uh, orange, we go save that global. Yes, let's do another section, which is global. So, for example, if I want to change this button color, um, I can go and change the uh, color to blue. Here we go, click save, save. And then once I've published that, it will make a change across the whole site. So basically any section that is across every page on that site, such as the header, the footer down here, um, that will be across site-wide. So if I go back to this change, refresh that page, we've now got a blue button. Fingers crossed, we do. If I go to case studies, you'll see, there we go, we've still got that blue button. So that page is now consistent across the site. So you don't have to change everything. You only need to change the things that 
um, are different on each page, such as the in, in, inner section. So you can change the header section, you can change the colors here, you can change the footer, and you can go to each page and then you can change your logos, you can change your, your wording, you can change your branding, everything like that. But essentially within you know a couple of hours, um, this website could be, your, your new website could be up and running and ready to go. Now, inside of the school community, when you do join, I do have a few instructional videos on how you can customize the domain to make it suit your business. So if you, you know, yourbusiness.com, you can do that and you can make it so that, you know, when you go to the actual homepage of your site, it will redirect to your website. So all those instructional videos are in the free school group, which I'll leave a link to down below. But I just wanted to jump on here on YouTube today to give you guys something for free. Hopefully you guys can take value from this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Before I go, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, loads more content coming out, subscribe to the channel as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.